TouchChat has the ability to share pages from other files. Let's assume this device user is participating in the Special Olympics. I know that the MultiChat 15 adolescent file already contains a page on this topic. While we could create our own page here, it would be much simpler to use the existing page rather than to create a new one from scratch. To import this page from the MultiChat 15 adolescent to my file, let's choose Menu, Edit Page, Menu, Import Copy Pages, Import Another Page. It will bring up a list of all of the vocabulary files on this device. You're going to search for the one that has the page that you want. In this case, we're looking for the adolescent file. Once you tap on the file, it's going to give you a list of all of the pages that are in that particular vocabulary file. You would choose the appropriate page that you would like to import. We're looking for Special Olympics. We're going to tap on it. We only want one page, but if there were several pages that we would like, we would just go ahead and tap on the remaining pages as well until they all have check marks next to them. When finished, tap on Import. This is going to import the page into our current file. Then tap on Done. Once all of the needed pages are imported, create a button to link to the new pages. Let's tap Done. We're going to add our page under Social, and then we'll tap the arrow. And we'll just create a new button on this page. Choose Menu, Edit Page. Choose where you would like your new button. Edit this button. Enter a label. Select an image if you would like. Scroll down to the actions and tap on add. We're going to choose the action of navigate and we're going to navigate to the page we imported. That page was called Special Olympics. Tap on it. Let's choose Animate Left this time, and Save, tap Done. Now watch how the page animates when I test the link. This is an iPad, iPod option that you can choose to use. If you don't like the animation, just choose No Animation when linking pages. One thing you might notice is this new page has 15 buttons, and that doesn't match up with the rest of my pages. We want to make sure the number of rows and columns are consistent with the rest of our vocabulary for motor planning purposes. Let's go ahead and change the page size by going to Menu, Edit Page, Menu, Edit Page Layout, and we'll change the number of rows on the page to match the rest of the vocabulary. We'll change the first one to 6, the second one to 7, and tap on Save. This has increased our page size to 42 buttons like the rest of our pages. We can take the buttons that currently exist and drag and drop them to other locations, or we can add more vocabulary concerning the Special Olympics. One other thing that you might want to do is take the Home button and drag it to the bottom left-hand corner. Again, we want to do that to keep the Home button consistent throughout the vocabulary. Once you're finished, tap on Done. To give TouchChat a true iPad, iPod feel, swipes and animation options have been included. Animations are added to the linking buttons as previously shown. Swipes are added with gestures. Let's add a gesture to a page to speak the word yes. Choose Menu. Edit Page, Menu, Edit Gestures, tap on the plus sign to add a gesture. For our label, we're going to put the word yes. 
That's also going to be our message. If your gesture is not speaking, you do not need anything in the message window. Next, you'll choose if you want to apply this gesture to all of the pages. If you don't choose this option, the gesture will only be available on the current page that you're on. Tap on Gesture Type to select a type. You can choose from one finger swipe up, down, left, or right, taps on the screen, or holds on the screen. We're going to choose a two finger tap. Tap on Add to choose an action. You can create a gesture using any of these actions. We're going to choose Speech Message because we want our gesture to speak. Tap on Save. Done. And then tap on Done again so we can test our gesture. We'll do a two finger tap. Yes. Yes. And you'll see that our gesture works. Gestures and animations may not be appropriate for everyone, so they can be disabled from the settings menu. In addition to using the vocabulary files available, you can also create a custom vocabulary file for your user. This can be created if the other available vocabulary files are not appropriate. In order to do this, choose Vocab, choose New Vocab, then choose Menu, Create New Vocab, then you're going to give your file a unique name and description. Tap on Save to save it. Then you would load your custom vocabulary file, create your new pages, your linking buttons, and your speaking buttons.